apparently. Whoa, I'm live. Whoa. Uh, okay. Now I have to, I can't see my laptop from here. I also need to make sure that this doesn't have my address. That would be a uh, very unfortunate. <laughs> Um, okay, so maybe I need to change that light. None of my lights are working today, so we just need to cry. And then let me see if I can actually view the chat. If anybody is in the chat, got one viewer, let's go. It's probably myself. All right. Russell wants it doesn't look bad. It's not you. <laughs> it's not me. Cool. Um, okay, so let me actually also local record. Sure, why? There is not sufficient. Oh, great. For delete the stream from yesterday. No, I didn't save that one. Oh, that's a video. Secrets. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No secrets for me. Uh, oh, you can get, you can go back in the video if you want. Too lazy. Uh, output recording. I can make this slightly lower quality so I can get longer, longer record time. Oh, dude, that's Will. Will, Will has moderator privileges on my, on my YouTube channel. <laughs> he has admin access. He's in the other room. Okay. All right, guys. This is an Amazon delivery. I was like, what the hell is outside? Hold on, we gotta open the door. <laughs> that was spooky. That was, that was very spooky. Uh, okay. Delivery driver showed up right next to, uh, right next to our, where we stream. Uh, okay, so I am going to open this up. We have Harry here who is chilling behind the camera. Um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna just open this guy up, season it. I literally don't remember when I ordered this, but this is the 01. Um, I decided to get the 110 or 102, 110 volt, 102 blind. Um, and yeah, uh, this grinder got delayed a lot. Um, but I did get to check out one. There's a guy local to me who brought it to a meetup. So it was really fun to try the grinder uh, before. And I brewed some really amazing coffees on it. I basically just brewed Padma Gesha. I brewed uh, the Alita Natural and Washed and Esmeralda, um, all from Say on the 01. Uh, and I, it was seasoned before then and I had really lovely cups. Uh, the thing that I'm interested in doing, which you guys can't see because this box is in the way, is I am interested in pairing this grinder with, well, we'll open this, but with probably the Flat Max or maybe the 83V, which now exists next to the Flat Max. Originally, I got this because um, I think this would be like a really good filter grinder. So anyway, let's crack it open and see what happens. I have no idea what's in this. Um, and we're gonna season it and whatever. Apparently you have to be careful with seasoning this grinder because there's like a thermal protection on it. That's I think seemingly on the aggressive side. So if you run uh, like two pounds through this thing, it will get mad at you. Oh wow, okay. This is like your P100 where it comes in the case. or in a tub. Look at this. Very cool. Nice. Now you need help. Now I need help. Yeah, now now we have to make Harry come back here. 
or the legendary Kimoi Kimoi dot copy. Oh, we got zip ties. Hey. Okay, so there it is. Here, actually, let's maybe. Let's, can you? Can you? Can you? Yeah. Shimmy the box off. So it's all zip tied, so it's definitely like. Can you get extra zip ties? How many zip ties did they give you with P100? I, I, I bought my news. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, they get, we got extra zip ties. <laughs> Sick. Uh, okay, well, that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, and then this is similar to the P100 box, I think. Oh, it's, yeah, it's similar. Similar? It's the same color. It's like the same thing. Yeah. So you got the tabs here as well. Four tabs on the other one. Um, cool. And yeah, okay, let me see what happens. Saying what's up from San Jose, hoping to join the next Bay Area Coffee Meetup. Spelled it, spelled it correctly too. Let's go. Oh, uh, mes message the Instagram. Yeah, message the Instagram. We'll we'll post. We will hook you up with the correct details. Um, yeah, we just have a lot of people that ask us about everything, and um, as you guys have seen from some of the previous videos, the event space can only support so many. So. Sometimes we have to be careful with how public things are. Um, also, we're at the point where uh, you definitely are getting people like, you gotta make sure people pass the vibe check, you know? Uh, online and in person, because when you get all these coffee nerds to show up in real life, you gotta, you know, make sure that uh, everybody passes the, uh, the vibe check. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to find the ties of the box cutter. This is miserable. Brew Verve Gesha, super exclusive group, six hundred dollar entry. Where did my scissors go? Yeah, let Caleb me just wants get the, the six hundred dollars. My scissors are miserable. Here we go. Gotta check their credit score. You're true. Um, yeah, you know, we host events that people of various skill levels and journey in coffee can arrive, uh, can, can come to. And it's been pretty rewarding to see what the um, community response is like. $600 entry fee to me. Oh my God. I know someone trying to do that. Yeah, some people have tried to charge admission outside of the normal admission, like uh, admission fee to an event, because we do have to pay for the pizza somehow. <laughs> okay, cool. So uh, this guy's open now. Oh, let's drop some zip ties. So let's take a look now. Is the P100 like this too? Yeah, it's the same exact case. Same exact case. Okay. All right. Case like this and grinder like this. I hope I hope it comes with a ketchup cup. Oh, <laughs> I mean that's pretty good. It like fits fits in there. Uh, okay, we're gonna set this off to the side. Um. Okay. Here, how do we do this? The magic is here. Very cool. This should be the uh, thumbnail of the video. <laughs> but uh, cool, we have very specific foam cut out here. So it's very different than the P100 one. If you guys can see that. Uh, let's look at the accessories first and then go from there. Okay, this is heavy. Lots of little cubbies, or little things with, for, for the for accessories. Oh, okay, this is Think the porta filter hook thingy. Uh, so you put your porta filter here. I got the silver color. I forgot I got silver. I thought I got black. Oh wait, no. I decided to get silver because the flat max is silver. I like. I was like figuring out which color I wanted, but okay. 
That is interesting. Okay, so it looks like, is that Delrin on the inside? Yeah, probably. Yeah, it looks like Delrin on the inside. So you can slide your portafilter through um, like this. Don't know if you got, if the camera can see. It's pretty nice. And then uh, let's keep going and then we'll take the grinder out and then we'll plug it in. We hope, we hope it works. I'm always scared when I buy coffee grinders is like, is it, is it going to work? Is it going to explode? I haven't had that experience yet, but I've had like other experiences of things not being the greatest out of the box. Uh, this is a dosing ring. It looks like they've gone, I mean, this is like the same finish. It looks like they've gone down kind of that Sheldon route where they stick a ton of magnets. Uh, I use the Sheldon one all the time, but my baskets are not magnet magnetic, unfortunately. It's pretty nice. Oh. Also like optimized, that height is optimized for their port of Yeah, it like fits for everything. Okay, I cannot get this guy out. Uh, actually, here, let's take... I hope it's a ketchup cup. Yeah. Is it a ketchup cup? Let's find out. This is such a fun shape. Like, look at this thing. It has more stuff. Let's take all the stuff out. Power cable. Manual with the slaps. It's got the slaps, so you know it's good. And then grinder, but... Okay, let me do the accessories first. Save the vest for last, right? Save the ketchup cup for last. This here. Oh, I thought this was interesting. Um, oh, okay. Look how many stickers, look how many different oh, grind nice. settings you can set. Uh, so we have all the different stickers. So if you wanna change, you know, your filter cold brew, AeroPress, I don't know if I said cold brew, but like filter and all of those different things, you can have a designated area for all of that. We have a actual, oh wow, okay, that's pretty nice. This felt pretty good too. I mean, look at how big this thing is. This is like a, like a can of Coke. Look at, look how big, this is huge. Uh, this is for, you know, your dosing cup. I always really like the option O um, dosing cup and, and then, I think they changed it to like a weird one. It's really weird now. I don't even know. I don't know what it is now. It's got like triple thingies in it. Um, so cool. Okay, those are the nice accessories that comes with it. All of the things we've been touching are all really nicely finished in the same kind of metal that you would get out of uh, your, I mean, from your grinder. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put these down to the side. Here we go. I think that's it. Okay, so let's take the grinder out now. When I first saw this thing in real life, I was like, this is hilariously large. Um, it's very dense. And then let's see if there are any finishing problems on this thing. Oh no. I'm always scared with these like super anodized grinders. It's like, what if you, you, that you get weird nicks and stuff on it? Take this out. You know what this really reminds me of? This reminds me of an Ikawa. Like the, this, oh, yeah, this yeah. looks like an Ikawa. Oh. Okay, I'm trying to take it out for the camera and I'm having trouble. So let's do it this way. Oh, that's fine. Our foam. I'm gonna take the box out of the way. All right, cool. This thing is huge. What the hell? It's bigger than the It is really big. It's bigger than the original one. Much bigger than the P100. I think if I move it here, you guys can see it a little better. There it is. It is much bigger than the Flat Max. Um, it has 102 mil burrs, but you also can stick um, your 98s in it. And I was like, oh, did I see a weird nick on it? No, it's just, just some... Uh, just some stuff on here. Feel smooth? Looks good to Looks me. Looks good to me. You, you gotta put the light on it to see this is this is where this is where you gotta you gotta no nitpick, detail, right? No you gotta detailing. you gotta look at the details. They ran coffee through it. I see a little bit of um, coffee in here, so they clearly tested it. 
Is that a dent? Look at this is a nick right there. Or is that a flake? Oh, whatever. I mean, that doesn't matter. You're gonna scratch it there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I mean, no, but it's like it's like you know, if you're spending this much money, you can be a nitpicker. I think you're you're like instantly. Anodizing, it's hard to. Yeah, it's, it's really hard much. to make it like perfect. But that's just me actually nitpicking. Uh, I don't really care about that. I care about does this make good coffee, um, and. I don't think this is going to be the highest clarity of clarity burr set in the world, but um, now I was like, before we do anything, we should actually plug it in and see if it works. <laughs> that's all, that's that's a, a pretty important thing to do. But the obviously, like the challenge with these grinders is if anything goes wrong, uh, I feel like it's always a little bit more painful to deal with than if you were to just buy, like, say a beautiful cafetech, which you guys probably can't see because uh, it's blocked by this, but it's like, I tend to still prefer some of those grinders that I like, you know, Zerno, cafetech, all those guys is like, if something breaks, I can just ship it in the same country that I'm in, but that's just because I live in the States. So already getting fingerprints on it, <laughs> fun. How do I plug this in? Oh, oh it's bottom. on the bottom. Yeah. That's annoying. This thing's so heavy. It's like you have to you have to like tilt it every single time. All right, power plug on the bottom. And okay, I got it in there. So it, there's a slot there, and then the cable comes out like that. So there's actually a little bit of play here. Don't know if you guys can see this, but it's just it's it's a cable. So yeah. All right. Cool, uh, let's plug this in and, and hope it works. Oh, should we take any of this off? We sh or, 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 you know, we should do something we, which we no, never do. No, we don't we need should, that. We should read the manual. We don't need the manual. This you, don't want, you don't want to read the manual? We're all a few 100, we're, we're, we mean, we're everyone has a few 100. All right, well, all right, fine, we'll skip the manual. What does this say? Hold on, what does this say? Each Lagom grinder will be tested by grinding coffee at our workshop, so it is normal that you may see some Residual coffee grind on your new grinder. This product is designed for grinding roasted coffee beans only. Please do not grind non-coffee materials as it may damage the grinder. And then, yeah, I don't think you need to season this. Um, it just says you can you can use it. So, okay, I'm gonna plug it in. Ooh. Watch it explode. That'd be tragic. All this time that you were forgetting about your coffee grinder. Okay, it's plugged in. Should I take this off? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it off. We need it. We need, we need the, the stream to see this. What's that right now? Don't, don't oh, turn. this is so, uh... Yeah. Look at that. I'm like using a lot of force. No residue, please. That's it. Okay. Hey, you're supposed to run the grinder whenever you change the grind settings. Hi, I'm not <laughs> Malcolm Nig. <laughs> um... Oh yeah, so yeah, some copy already came out there. Clearly they tested it, that's great. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna turn it on now. Yeah. Do you think it's okay? Yeah. Think it'll work? Yeah, I think it'll be work, it'll work. Oh look, more coffee came out. I put it on the lowest RPM. Oh yeah, this is the lowest RPM. Very cool. Okay. The recommended is, uh, do you know what the two buttons are? Uh, so one of the buttons is a normal on off and the other one is a, the normal one with the purge. Yeah, yeah. So it's like the P100, um, and then this feels really good. This knob feels really good. The buttons also feel really good. It's like good. a little differently shaped from the old one. Yeah, but like the, yeah, I, mean, I mean, it's stuff like this, like that. that is why you drop this much money on these grinders is like little things like that um, oh, this looks cool. feel good. There's like, yeah, like the, as if it's like a button, but it's not, but then it also like. Oh yeah, this is much better than the normal neat clicker. I think this this is like the oh, no, no, that's new, the same same one as the new. Oh, one. Oh, it's a new one. Okay, because I we had the original one and I didn't really like the force on there. Yeah. This this one, this feels really good. Okay, cool. Um, and and yeah, all the all the little touch points on this thing are are they they feel fantastic. They they feel precision. Um, yeah, as really they should. 
as as they should for, for how much this costs. Stream over. Stream over. We're done. We're, we're done now. Um, okay. Uh, let's, uh, I don't know, let's brew something, grind some coffee. What do you want to do? Let's brew something we, and then we can season it. Yeah, we should, you should be able to brew out of the box. Uh, all right, do you want to see what grind size we're at? Oh, yeah, we're, I mean, we're already at zero. Are we at zero? We're close to zero. Do you, what do you want? Do you want? To well, I don't know. I want to just toss some coffee in there and then just see what that gets us. Okay. Um, do you think this draw, I don't think this draws enough. Power. I actually be able to run. Um, let me go. Sure. 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 Worst case scenario, we have to. Trip. Well, okay. I have a trip light under here, so so it should be okay. Um, okay. Well, let's grind some coffee. I put the, it on five. The is, base part is. Is it working? Magnetic, but I see. I've just missed the magnet part. Let's see. It's off on the side. Did they reverse the magnet Whoa. when they installed it? Yo. I think they did. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Dude. No. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Oh. Rip. Yeah, the magnets. No, no, feel this. The, this is, this is, this is not centered. The magnet it's is. Wait. No, wait, am I wrong? No, see, it pulls to the yeah, side. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's flipped. No, no, this is correct. It's right. right here. It's oh, right is here. it? Oh, yeah. no, 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 no. Wait, why does it go? There's like, oh, there's extra magnets for this. Oh, okay. That, th I didn't expect these magnets like to be so one. strong for it to pull. There's like four it's magnets. It's pulling to the side so aggressively. There's like multiple. Right? There's like multiple no, magnets. No, wait, that's yeah. not centered. This is that's center. Oh, that is? Okay. This is where the shoot is. But it was like pulling here. It's like, maybe it's the angle. Yeah. That's interesting. Whoa. Feeling... Also, I don't like this. I don't like the. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can hear this, but I don't like, I don't like metal it's metal on metal. metal. Is it? Yeah. Feel like put oh, no, or no, but like if you if you move it, that's like no, no, it's a it's a hard plastic piece. Okay, on. but it feel it's it's like no, that's no, okay. Don't worry. There's a there's a hard uh, plastic piece. That's fine. okay. It's I'm just like that doesn't feel good. <laughs> Do Kyle said to brew it filter at three? What did he say? What are we doing? I've been brewing filter around three. This is much higher than the pre-production model. Glad to see it. Uh, yeah. Well, I don't know. I shouldn't have to hot start. No, you never. I never hot start. Like, I, I don't know, know man. Uh, all right, let's all throw right, some right, uh, right, inoculata yeah, gesha. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. Oh, that's an interesting noise. It's like, it's yeah. so big up here. It, yeah. like, hear this? It's a popcorn disc on the top. <laughs> that's kind of cute. That's cool. Uh, okay, well, I don't know. Let's uh, let's grind. Right. I cannot see what yeah, grinds. Grind I'm at five, just for curiosity reasons. Put it on six though, on the RPM. It's the recommended. Put it on six for the RPM. Okay. Yeah, that's the recommended for those. I'm ones. just gonna run it normal. Um, I might have put too much coffee in, but no, no, whatever. Fine. We'll see. That was hella fast. Yeah, you got. Four more millimeters of fast. Four more, but it's like much more percentage, right? Because yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's blind. Yeah. And then, uh, that, feel, that, that feels really, this feels yeah, really no, good. Cool, this feels it's, really it's, good to use. It's not like, it's not a thwacker. It's yeah. like a reverse cam mechanism. Okay, so this is good. Well, I'm reversed, obviously, but like, this is going to get some use. I, I still, I don't know. I don't like that it rubs like that. It I doesn't think, make me yeah. feel confident. But, well, <laughs> Woo, whatever. Uh, that's way too fine. Okay, well, that's, that's too fine. Really? I think that's too fine. Is, is, is it a, a, crazy? Is a five? Or I, I can't see. All right, I'm gonna get some water in here. I oh, know this is this is not that fine. Imagine missing this. There's, it's three magnets. That's why. Wait. So what do we brew? What do you want to brew? What coffee do you want to taste today, Harry? I don't know. What's the I have uh, Juan Pena from Say. I have a bunch of random Panama Geshas. I have... Damn, you just listing all these. I don't know, dude. Yeah, it's the time of the year. Uh, it's the beginning uh, of the year. What do you want to make two cup cups of? Because we're going to do one before and after. Uh, how much Juan Pena do I have left? It's the small bag over there. It's a lot. Uh, I'll brew tiny. I'll brew like 12 gram little V60s. Is that a lot? Yeah, that's, that's a lot. Yeah, right, let's, we should just season this coffee through here. Oh, you gotta throw this away before you fuck up. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't be tragic. This, this coffee was really good. Um, it is just old now.
but I really enjoyed it. Um, I also just bought a new coffee from Verve as well, somewhere here. I don't know where I put it, but I, I just, yeah, sure, I'll show off the new Verve that I bought. Oh. So Verve, by the way, switching to Loring for some of these more premium coffees. So they already did switch to Loring, so this is like, um, yeah, Alita stuff. So I would always kind of get that, I don't want to say roastiness, but sometimes ashiness from like Probat roasts on, at least for Verve, because they're roasting so big, so much coffee all the time. Um, they switched to the Loring and a lot of their single origin stuff, like this Alita and some of the coffees I've tasted already, much higher clarity, much more defined acidity, a lot better. Um, some hey, someone works for Verve. Very cool. Yeah, I was just at the um, University Avenue Cafe today. Uh, what, do we think our grind size is fine, or should we? Because like the grind size is gonna change. You're not gonna get a. Oh, you, you go like super. You go super fine usually, right? I don't. Uh, sure. Fine. We can go pretty fine. Okay, let's go four and a half. Four and a half. Five. Yeah, that's around where I'm doing like three, four V60s. Yeah, but your your grinder is uh, has weird burrs in it now, not option O. Okay, so I know I I got the T92s in here. So let, let let's give it a taste. We brew two two coffees. We'll do one, and then we'll season, and then we'll brew again. Whole table is shaking. This still feel it feels good, but I'm not. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I wasn't expecting the magnets to be so aggressive to the left and right, so the cash cup gets like really pulled in, in each direction. Here, we can pull espresso. <laughs> the decent you can do goofy stuff and yeah. put that yeah. in oh, okay, there right here. Now. <laughs> here. So. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they can see this. This is a Flare 58 portafilter, by the way. It's pretty standard. Really. It's pretty, yeah. Like, you know, this is gonna, this is gonna stay there. Okay, uh, cool. Let me go and brew some coffee. And let's go from there. And I shouldn't have to do any sort of RDT, right? No. Can you get some crafts? Thank you. Well, like, RDT gives you more construction, right? I'm lazy. <laughs> I just want to pour coffee into grinder. So I'm just going to brew uh, 12 gram doses for anyone curious. I think 12 in these V60s is fine. Uh, and I think I'll just keep it simple, do like two pours. But we're grinding. I'm going to grind at a six on the RPM and a four and a half on the actual grind size. And we'll go from there. See what, see what it tastes like. And I got my T92 or mediums or whatever these are. 90s. T90s. This pearl is so sensitive. Okay. Um, all right. Toss the beans in. That's so loud. That is so loud. Oh, you do pour, I have to make a cover for that? You, you pour the you pour the beat. That's like yeah. absurdly loud. Uh, okay, where I'm gonna use the auto function on this. And is our thing in the right place? Yeah. Hard to see, but let's go. That was like two seconds. That is so fast. It's it's kind of straining because we're also running the kettle, right? The knock. That feels good. Uh, I guess we can look at our retention or something. That was uh, 12 for anyone curious. And then watch this, watch the number be inaccurate because of the, uh... oh, this coffee's so good. This coffee's, this coffee's so good. Such, oh, it doesn't smell like such a good super jalapeno funk. Yeah, I like this cash cup. Things are not sticking like crazy. Probably not gonna see that, but put it in here. Mm, pouring, I don't know. I don't know about like it's like a can. You gotta like. No. 
See, my coffee kind of went in weird. Okay, that's literally 12. 12 and 12. Wow, very crazy. Look at that, see? Yeah, that's confusing. It's This is kind of, well, I mean, we're doing it at the wrong, you know, like, on the wrong side, but, like, they made this magnet so strong that this side is getting pulled like that. I can I can be nitpicky because this grinder is expensive, right? You're entitled. I'm entitled. I paid for this with my hard-earned pennies. Um, all right, where's my little leaf? Leaf. All right, unseasoned. What, what do you expect it's going to taste like compared to your calf attack? I think this is going to be more like less upfront in terms of presentation and I don't think it's going to have as silky of a finish but I think it probably it's probably going to be sweeter it's probably going to be um probably have higher body I, I don't know hard to tell uh I mean I guess we can a b but yeah, probably we haven't, we haven't really had much misons so yeah misons are too new too new but also I don't really know if I want to taste that much coffee right now it's like seven it's late. It's late. You always spit. That's true. But also, like, yeah, I guess we can we can open up any of those other coffees and, and brew those. I'm just going to keep things simple and just do, like, a 12 to 200. Yeah, repeatable. Very, yeah, relatively repeatable. I know this is a coffee I can push way, way harder, but I'm not gonna do that. And I'm just only pouring around like three, four mils per second. I'm chilling. Watch this taste terrible because I suck at brewing coffee. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> not because the grinder's bad. <laughs> Oh yeah, this also does like uh, point whatever. So I, I put exactly 12.0, I got 12.0 out. That's pretty typical with most of these grinders nowadays. Uh, the retention on, I don't even know, I can't even see if this can see the flat max here, but uh, flat max retention is very low. This grinder just grinds a lot slower, um, but I would use, my plan is like flat max for espresso and then this guy for filter. But then now I'm using the MC5 a lot more, so I don't even know. Um, and then DF83 V's been interesting. I just pulled some soup on it earlier today of some Takesi Gesha, and it was pretty good. Um, you can pull about three bar shots with the brew birds, but also these are not entirely seasoned. And I also wussed out on like grinding exactly at Tush. I like backed off a little, um, yeah. I think we are a little fine. Really? See, look. Look at that. Look at this. Fines producing grinder. I wouldn't be surprised if this created more yeah. fines. So do we want to taste this or do we want to brew more? We have a, our season. Let's throw like two pounds through it and yeah. then see what happens. This is really fine. I mean, so, so I guess like, you know, this will give us a good idea of it's, how- It's only three minutes and it's not like that bad. Yeah, I mean, this coffee can always extract more out of it, but like, I ground a little fine, whatever. We'll go from there. I'm gonna turn this off. Three three thirty. But I did bloom for one minute. Okay. No, that's fine. Mega bloom. That's not even. That's how I normally brew. All right. Let's give it a taste and and see. But man, this coffee is stellar. You're gonna sip and spit? Yeah. I have these cu other cups I wanna use, but I can't show them yet. They're too fancy. Unreleased. Wow. Oh, let me get the uh, card for this coffee so you guys can see what we're tasting. It's in the tiny say box. What? Or there's like a tiny, I don't know, or, or maybe it might be behind the X bloom somewhere. It, it's on, maybe it's on the surface. It's a blue card. <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. 
This is pretty, like the color is pretty good. I'm letting this cool down and we'll give it a taste. Thank you. So, probably not gonna be able to see this, but it's this is the Juan Pena Gesha from Say. Wow, I have a area I can put my cup on now. Very cool. Okay, let's give it a taste. Mmm. Very sweet. Like, that, that, I mean, this coffee is super sweet already. Definitely doesn't have that upfront acidity presentation that you get out of shurikens. Stevia sweetness, man. Yeah, but it's like a lot of stringency. Yeah, because it got too fine. Man, forgot how to not brew with SSPs. Dude, yeah, there's... How do you but, brew without SSPs? Yeah, that was a bad brew. I told, I told you, it got too fine. You, you, you set it at four and a half. You should have kept it at five. Maybe but also more. unseasoned, right? But also, I don't I know... I think this astringency comes from it being unseasoned now. Yeah, this is like unseasoned astringency. This is not like astringency from bad brewing. All right, guys, we have to we have to season this grinder, it turns out. Oh, no. Can't push coffees without seasoning it. Uh, it does taste good. I mean, the coffee is really okay. carrying the story here. Okay, I'm going to run a few pounds through this, and then we'll go from there. We'll do another brew of the same coffee. Um, but yeah, you know, this is literally like we just got the grinder and we just opened it. Uh, you probably should run some amount of coffee through it. I think you wouldn't have this issue if we were brewing uh, or if we were pulling espresso. But yeah, um, I don't know. I'm like, what coffee do I do? How do I how do I season coffee without like upsetting people that like... Uh, I'm like, oh my god, you're dumping our coffee through your grinder. No, it's just you have too much coffee. I have too much coffee. You're a coffee YouTuber. Of course sure. you have too much coffee. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Dump this coffee through there? Yeah, it's been a while since you made had your omakase. Okay, alright. Well, let's season. Oh, this is unopened. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's on the table. It's on the table. Do you need like, a bowl? Yeah, do you want to get a bowl and can, see, can season through this? So unseasoned, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. And yeah, I guess we'll just keep going from there. How much do you think this can carry? Hundred? Hundred in there. Oh, no. That is so clean. The the grounds just go straight down. Yeah. Yeah, that's really clean. I mean, yeah. Wow. Chocolate. It's nothing. There's like, look at that. Nothing. Very cool. And that's like a more medium developed roast. Let me get a bag. I need to get a bag to throw all the coffee bags into. We're going to use this one later. Old coffee. Oh yeah, we need we need a season with this is a Panama Gesha. Not bad, not bad. This is a beautiful Panama Gesha. It's expensive. Very expensive, very terrible coffee. Okay, go to the pan. Yeah, so actually the only thing that's sticking on this is when you're pouring the coffee out, it's it's sticking there. Yeah. That's hilarious. Still feels great. Yeah. Nice. All right, here's the fun part of the content. Yeah, this is this is what you guys signed up for, right? So uh, we also did see some stuff that it's like apparently you don't want to actually season the grinder too much because the thermal protection is very, very high. So I think people, when they were hitting about two pounds, you gotta let the grinder just like not do anything, or or, or like it stops working. Yeah, just like it just like stops working. Um, so who knows? Oh, there might be like a noise cut filter on here for so it might on the mic. So it might. You're on NC. Oh, you want to turn off NC? Okay, guys, hold on. We're gonna turn off the noise canceling. I I forgot it was on. It's all right, off all right, it's off now. So this is what I was saying. If I, I pour beans in here, hear, the, hear this ding, the dings. Oh, 
Oh no, we dropped beans on the ground. Uh, yeah, it's like, it's really loud. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the dings on here. Can I throw one over? It's like... <laughs> a lot louder than I expected on that. That, like... Yeah, it really it's a, It really resonates. But the popcorning does a, I mean, it's a, does a really good job at anti-popcorning. Um... <laughs> Yeah. And then this is the RPM adjustment as well. So I'm going to go low RPM here. So this is one. And then this is nine. Uh, so I, I guess let's also grind some coffee at one and then also at nine. So you guys can hear uh, what that sounds like. So here's one. Having trouble. It's struggling with this dark not roast. Speed. Yeah, not enough speed. That's nine. But the RPM's got really low. It's still pretty fast at one. And then this is nine. Let's put it up to the fastest for fun. That's kind of scary. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's fast. So should I just let this sit here or like what? I don't want I don't want to lock the grinder out. Like it's it it, it, it don't. There goes the content. Then the content is gone. Uh, and I'll put it back at six. If you're curious. Also, the marking on here is really interesting. It's not actually a sticker or anything. It's just like a straight kind of punched in uh, piece of metal. Oh, it's like it's engraved. It's like, it's like an engraved. Yeah. Here's the rest of this bag. I feel like it's louder than the grinder. It is. It's louder than the P100. It's, it's, it's like yeah. Trumpeting. Yeah. It definitely. It doesn't feel like it's uh, grinding as fast as the P100 in the higher RPMs, but I could be wrong. Maybe just like the pitch of the 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 sound isn't as loud. I don't really feel like it's trumpeting. So. Yeah. Ludicrous mode. Yeah. We have to purge coffee around. Well, we can grind some, like, uh, I don't know, questionable coffee through here and and make the burrs taste. We can devalue the burrs, is what I'll say. Devalue them? Is, is this. Is, was this coffee good? Oh, oh no. <laughs> we won't name who we. Just uh, cover the. Do I cover the. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really matter that much. They have so many co coffees through their farms, they should know. Oh, jeez. Uh, I kind of did want to try it because of how no. bad you guys were telling me yeah. it was. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I'll save it. You know, like, you ever you ever try coffee because someone's like, this is so bad. It's so bad that you need it. It's so bad that it's good, you know? Alright, let's just do one more bag. I have all these old AG coffees. Maybe they're now finally rusted and I can taste them. This is a good coffee, Esperanza. No, it's bad. It's, is a sin, it's that boring from <laughs> Robert. I think Robert handed me that coffee. <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh, or you did. <laughs> well, you can't even tell what it is from here. That's how bad it is? You can tell? You, you, you well, can't. that's because he knows that he gave us a bunch of forwards, so... Not that forward is bad. Tamiru Tedessa. I guess I'm just gonna put all the... Oh, this is AG, man. This is some... Oh. It, does not, it does not struggle grinding any of these copies. Well, we have oh, look at how small these beans are! If we put it at like 3, maybe it'll start sounding like... Just gonna... Where's your bag for your bags? Oh, uh, the bag for the bags is here. Uh, I'm so sorry, a fallen scold. <laughs> oh. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't gonna overflow the cat cup. 
This, this fits a good amount. It does fit a lot, yeah. I kind of like that they just went away with the weird forky. Yeah, I'm kind of glad. No forks. I mean, or like, oh. you can run forks if you choose to run forks. Oh, I forgot to click too. You might as well throw like these cards. Test them. idea, gr grind while on top of a rubber mat, perhaps resonation goes down. Mmm. I think the resonation, it's like coming up from the, it's more from the top. top. Yeah, yeah, it's not coming from the anywhere in the grinder, if you were so curious. Make some cold brew. Put it through the bean seeker. Okay, I'm gonna get a trash can or something. Or like, let me get a bag for us to throw these into. How much more coffee do we want to... Do I serve ads? Uh, you want to. All right, quick ad break. We're gonna go and grind more coffee. Okay, inserting ad. Whoa, the ads have been inserted. We got 69 viewers, gotta insert the ad. <laughs> okay, and cleaning up. I mean, people still gonna see this. Okay, I'm just gonna fill this like relatively up. Glitch. What is that? No, Unan P4 Catamar. Oh, okay, whatever. That's old. This coffee is so old now. It's a dead coffee value right now. Yeah. You might as well just like, what is this? So that might have been the April Typica, Elita Typica. I still wanted to brew it at some point. Even though it's old. Samples that I finished. Looking around for coffee. Yeah. Coffee. Oh, yeah, some of these are just so... These coffees are just like... I just can't get through all this coffee. It's, uh, it's unfortunate. Yo. Stress test. Stress test it. This is a, literally a whole, like, how, how much is this? 340 grams. This coffee was really good. This is from Box. Roaster from LA. I, I, this is a Colombian pink bourbon. It's pretty good. We got it on the X Bloom. I like this coffee a lot. But, um, yeah, okay. Whole bag of coffee in here. Right, you gotta make sure it doesn't overflow. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is gonna overflow. Uh, Alright, we're gonna just put the. This tree underneath. Or do we want to? We can like grind in bits. Okay. Isn't this gonna trigger the overheating protection? Well, I mean, it'll be good to show it on camera. No, I don't want to show it on camera. I want to be able to use the grinder. I think it'll be fine, but just like give it rest after a bit. Uh. Oh shit. <laughs> it grinds really fast. It fi really fills up. It's like the birds are getting warm. Yeah. It smells good. It's pink bourbon. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. I guess I should grind it at the fastest RPM. You can't, you can't tell. I can't tell, yeah. Alright, we're just gonna go through the bag and go oh. make more coffee. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I'm playing a game, I'm like right, try, right, trying right. to, trying to... Time. Time, it. yeah, I'm trying to like... It is hella fast, yeah, this is hella fast. And we're 400 millimeters long. Oh. That's it. Is this the one where you can't, you're not supposed yeah, to? Yeah, you're not supposed to. Alright, the only reason why this is so messy is because the grounds overflowed and touched the top. So, we have some coffee here. 
Kind of smells like pasta sauce right now. Pasta sauce. Old coffee. I have lots of old coffee. Should I do another bag? Or should we? I think we're good. You good? Yeah, you're good? scared. Are you scared of? I mean, I want, I, I want, you know, these, if I put expensive coffee through the grinder, I want it to taste good, right? Like it needs to be most optimal. Honestly, this one Pedia is like, now that it's really cool, it's probably not that bad. Yeah. Feel better now? It, it is better, um, but still you can tell like, we ground too fine there for the last brew, so. But what if we just grind the same? You wanna grind the same? Also, this has some play to it for for the re recal, recaling, and also swapping the burrs. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. Okay. Let's. Uh, I don't know. Do we? I can season with Gesha. Let's clean. We have to clear the burrs out. Oh, we use that one. Oh yeah. Wait, that's gonna make our coffee taste worse. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, Pr Panama Private Collection, roasted by uh, a Japanese roaster. Mmm, I love charcoal Panama Gesha. Yeah, it's a shame, man. I'm like, I'm like, I don't, I don't care about using this to season. I care that they ruined this beautiful coffee. Oh, seasoning Panama Gesha. Sad. I would say our burr value goes up, but this, this was, this is pretty rough. <laughs> this sucked. This coffee is terrible. <laughs> I'm glad this is how it gets spent. Thank you, Robert. Thank it. you, Robert, for wasting your precious time and money buying that coffee. Fuck, dude, that smells... It's just, it's so bad. Oh. Well, it's like it's... rubbery... Well, it's stale now. But... Sta well, obviously it's stale, but it smells like dirt. And when I brewed it, it was like, yeah, it was bad. I guess like it would be a good coffee, you know, if you want a cold brew Panama Gesha, like that's fine. All right, let's try it again. Woo. Very, very clean. Oh, you know what's interesting? They, I don't, they didn't give you a brush. They don't, do they give you a brush with P100? No. Okay, no brush. I guess like everybody probably has brushes already at this point in time. Got a little bit of mustache here, that's okay. But this is the... Okay, so we ran, what, like, two pounds through this. Not a lot. Actually, this is more... Th yeah, this is more than two pounds. Uh, but we have really bad Panama Gesha in there before, so we might need to purge a few beans of this one Pena through there. I'm gonna put some good Panama Gesha, but just old. This is Colombian Gesha. Oh. Okay, sure, fine. You can... We can run that's, some through That's here. just for purging. Yeah, we can use it for purging. It's fine. Yeah, it's like a well-done steak. That was a tragedy. No RDT. So I think, I think what we'll do is we will, now that it's more seasoned, let's do the same brew. Um, same grind size, or do you want to give it a better chance? I feel like, uh, are we, with... test, are we testing the seasoning versus no seasoning? Sure, or... fine, 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 fine. Ruining. I only have so much of this. I have like 50 grams left of this. Right, fine. Or you just... No, we can use the same grind size. It's fine. That's, that's not a big deal. Alright, I am brewing 12 grams again. Are you actually going to finish this coffee? I am going to finish this coffee. This is a good coffee. Note of ass cheeks, dude. Yeah. I will say grinding that Immaculata smells really good right now. That's a good, I mean, it is a great coffee. I wish I drank more of it. But I. Also, it didn't come in a resealable bag, so. Yeah, okay. I guess it was the six. Plum four and 
4.5 right now. 6, 4.5, same grind setting. This is, I think this is affecting the the uh, RPM here at the, because when the kettle's boiling, so. Maybe oh, this no, to, I don't care. Or this to boil. I hey, just man, use it. Hey man, that affects your grind distribution. RPMs will change. You need to be meticulous about these things. Do you have like a calendar or a schedule of what coffees you plan to drink and when since you get so many soften? No, I don't, but I should. All right, all right, uh, let's grind this. It sounds like a P100 from this angle. Unscientific testing. <laughs> Did we conclude that it's better than that? It always happens. You better get the set up and running or you're fired, lol. No one works for money. Nobody, unfortunately. Yeah, no, unfortunately. There we go. There's no one else. There we go. Yeah, good. We're back. Okay, let's do this now. I still think this is a little fine, but we'll find out. Cap. Cap. Are you a zoomer? You're using the zoomer, zoomer words. Yeah, dude, I'm trying to be with the millennials. <laughs> Hit with the millennials. Or is oh, wait, the I zoomers. The You're a millennial, yeah. 
Oh, this isn't. I didn't realize you could see all this, all this, all this coffee. This is all coffee here. So much coffee everywhere. It's terrible. We have a serious problem here. This coffee's so good. Uh, da, da, da. 60 second bloom and I just pour slow ish, relatively slow. Uh, usually I agitate these, this coffee a lot more, but I just want to keep it simple. Keep it simple. Watch this also taste terrible because you're grinding too fine. That's the burr's problem. Burr problem? Imagine not being able to grind espresso size for filter. Terrible burr. Throw it away. It's not espresso. We're not even close to espresso. Yeah, well, we'll do, we'll do espresso after this. And Kyle was telling us to go, go at three. But we do agitation. But also... His grinder could be different than this one, right? Because oh, yeah, his is a pre-production. Uh, yeah, so I just brewed two to 12 to 200. I do a 50 gram first pour, and then I agitate, uh, and then I let that sit for about a minute. I am brewing, say, so I usually brew at 100 Celsius, or, you know, boiling. And then I just did a pretty slow pour up until 200 from 50, it's a 150 gram pour. Um, we are grinding definitely on the finer side, but we'll find out. The astringency from the unseasoned burrs should be gone, unless... We still need a season unless more. Unless you still need a season more, which I wouldn't be surprised. I guess we can pull espresso on this too. We can, we can, we have a Flare 58 on the ground. <laughs> there's literally a Flare 58 on the floor. We can I'd rather just walk to your decent. Decent's on the other side of the room, man. It's too far away. You, you got your assistant here. <laughs> okay, yeah, you can pull. We gotta use the dosing funnel in here. Okay, yeah, 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 true. Here, I'll clean off this. Yeah, I mean, you were pulling shots on the decent. You can, you know, clean that up, clean it up. All right, uh, let's taste it now. I just need to put this guy in there. You put it there. Yeah. I'm not gonna. Oh my god. Well, I have the old brew, but that's old now. Let me out. Okay, so this is the old one. Why would you do that? Very scientific here, guys. Yeah, definitely like astringent at this grind setting. Uh, new brew after we season it for a little. Watch this be the same, and I told you so. Well, that cool. Does the coffee taste better when brewed in Pepe V60 versus not Pepe V60? No, we're brewing Pepe. Yeah, we're not bringing Pepe, so... No synergy. No synergy, not a good coffee. I'm sorry. Doesn't work. You need to make sure you brew Pepe everything. You pour some for me? Yeah. Like this. It, ha it does taste better. <laughs> After seasoning, a little, like, I don't know. I still think this is ground too fine. It could be placebo. It could be placebo, yeah, but taste that. I'm pretty sure you will be like, whoa, now there's more stuff happening. Oh, 
Marginally. It's marginally better. Like, it is better. We're going to be fine, I told you. Well, I did believe you the first time. It's just... Yeah, yeah, I was like, I was like, it's not, fine. It's unfair. It's, okay, yeah. Uh, so, you know, seasoning does help to some extent. But now I've just wasted 24 grams of very expensive coffee. <laughs> wow. Okay, I do want to do um, an actual brew of something at a coarser grind size. So, let's do that. This is the right way. I have the numbers reversed. This way. This way? This way? This way? Yeah. So that's coarser. Maybe 5.5. 5.5 or what? 5? Yeah, that's, that's 5.5 right here. Should I do 5.5 or 5? Uh, but I, how, how much for you? I do, this needs to be, I can compensate with agitation. Okay, well, then go coarser, because you... What coffee should we brew? Naruk? Okay. Naruk, Naruk? Where's my other, I have I want enough. something in my bag. <laughs> oh, sure. Okay, we'll brew, we'll do an actual brew of coffee, uh, uh, like at good grind settings. Wait, just open yours, you have like something. No, I already have, I already have here. Plug for our friends. Plug for our friends at Moonway Coffee Roasters. Uh, this is the Naruk Gesha. Wilson Benitez. Wilson Benitez. Adjacent to the San Miguel Diego. Uh, I have the 102 blind, if you were curious. Since someone asked. Let me just ask. Cool. All right, let's try this again. Maybe we should wipe this shit up, too. Dump this old one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have one more T92 filter, so... Do you need to order some? I need to get some more filters. Yeah. Okay. You should buy the, you should buy the TH, I don't remember which number. <laughs> the TH2 or TH1, which are the exact same as the... Yeah, but then you can compare with Robert. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Uh, so we were grinding at like four and a half and it definitely was put too fine for this. Uh, now we're at about 5.5 and I think I definitely want to lower this temperature to like 95 Celsius. That's so fast. Oh, wow. Smell that. That's crazy. I'm familiar. I said strawberry mochi when I tasted this coffee. I was yeah. like, it tastes like strawberry mochi. That's a good one. All right, let's try it again. Need a little more water. All right. Did I use a flacker? Yeah, you do. Dude, this feels really good. Yeah. This feels really good to use. Every time I do this, this is one less time I can use it. No break. <laughs> <laughs> um, after grinding a lot of coffee, this there definitely does get a, a, some there's some residue up here, but still really doesn't matter. Oh, jeez. Coffee smells great. Okay, so we are grinding more optimally now, coarser. We're going to just... we This is also coffee we can push. Yeah, it's, always I still, good, it's always good to like pat it a little. Yeah, I still think you should pat it. We get a little bit of retention in there, but it's not egregious. So the ionizer does a pretty good job. I, I can't even see this. I'm going to run my hand is under. There is, there an ionizer? is there an ionizer? I don't even know. I don't remember. Isn't there an ionizer in this? Am I crazy? Oh, God. Camera over here. I have to zoom in. Here, wait. This is the solve this. Let's, solve this. Let's go back. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm gonna upgrade at some point. I don't know if this can see me. Now I'm out of the frame, but whatever. Okay, uh, that was 12 grams. 
and it's hella fast. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that can see. Maybe you can just move the. You can just move the tripod back. Yeah. There we go. You can see this. The production. <laughs> the, the the cinema. So like the chat the. Yeah, I I don't know. I haven't streamed this much before, and and and. I feel like I've streamed before, and I, the, this camera doesn't have these problems. But now, all of a sudden, we have all these problems. So, who knows anymore? Uh, I'm still waiting. At least the water still needed to boil. Uh, so, it wasn't completely the end of the world. The, the viewer The viewer experience is ruined. Oh, no. The, the the content, the cinema. All right. I think I put too much water in here. Hopefully that can survive. Cause uh, yeah, you gotta blow on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be my job now. We're almost at 95C. I filled this to the max line, so it's taken so long. I don't know. I don't like slow feeding. It ruins. You don't like slow feeding? It ruins my joy of. I don't know. I'm like, whatever, man. It all tastes good. Most of these grinders at this tier are all gonna be pretty good. Ah. Wow, crazy ar aromatics off of this. I just want to pour water on coffee and make it taste good. I don't want to have to think. Oh, see, we can you can like put your coffee on here, maybe. Plug. That's pretty good. Plug the roaster. Very cool. We're gonna do a lot more videos with them as time goes on. Uh, I don't. I guess I can just. Oh yeah, this is this is course. Okay, we'll begin. I'm gonna agitate this a little more than before, just with the kettle stream. High flow rate, let's go. Okay. Uh, yeah, sure, let's also do this. Slow it down just a little. So maybe a little finer, slightly finer. But we can pull espresso now. Yeah. Yeah. It's late. We do this before getting dinner. We need to get dinner too. Yeah. Then people want, then people want to get dinner with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I don't get that many fines in my grinder and I never slow feed. APM coffee, yeah. Well that's why we uh we're we sip and spit at this hour. You know, the drawdown on time is a hell of fast. Yeah. Oh no, no, it's oh no, it's looking good. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, cool. Uh, let's we can set this guy up for espresso while we wait. Uh, what do what do we think espresso is at? Uh, like two? No, maybe like one point five. One point five. Okay. Do I? I don't. I, I'm just gonna run the grinder and turn it. Yeah. Five. Unless you want to go a little coarser, just in case. Little cor. Well, I think one and a half is fine. Or, or well, let's just throw coffee. Let's... Okay. <laughs> okay, now we're on espresso. Fine. So. Uh, it does. It does not care about how fine you're. It just that yeah. just that just chews through it. Oh my god. 
Yeah. I don't know. Do we, do we want finer? I don't know. I don't make espresso. That's pretty... That should be okay. Okay. Let's pull some espresso. All right, where's the funnel? Oh, yeah. We gotta, we gotta use the... We have to use the... Uh, we're gonna do this, so you gotta do this. Oh, here. Do we want to take? Let's take. Let's taste this first, and then we'll pull. We'll pull our espresso shot. Yeah. So this is a more optimal brew of the O one. Oh my god! Yeah, it smells crazy. This is a a Wilton Benitez coffee. Mm. It's really sweet. It's it's this is such a it's so balanced. Hmm. So I, my initial comments of of saying like the acidity does not hit you up front like the the cafe tech stuff does it's it's yeah like this, this kind of reminds me of SVPs. <laughs> yeah, th there there's like basically there's like a a, a 0.25 second delay. It's really sweet during that period of time, and then you get the acidity. I really like this linger. The linger of acidity is really nice. Like this is, it's 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 still on my tongue right now, and. Um, as this is going, it's nice and sweet, but this tastes very similar to a $75 reverse at 85? How much are SVPs mm. now? They're like a hundred bucks. Depends where you get it yeah. from, but they're like hundred. Well, let's try espresso, but these definitely are higher clarity, higher acidity than, um, than SVP. And I think higher acidity than cast, 98 cast. Feel, uh, they feel. I think 98 cast to have a lot of acidity. I like the tactility on, like the yeah. the it tactility of the acidity. Body, yeah. Real, yeah. I, I think it's like the acidity plus body mm -hmm. in this. Mm -hmm. mm. I still think I like turkins. Well, I have to try these more, but I want to yeah, say yeah. I'm, I think I like that slightly more pushed up acidity that shurikens have. Um, these, oh, by the way, these don't have any sort of harshness that the, like, there's no SSP sharpness uh, that you get out of the 98s. Um, no, this is, I mean, yeah, super good. I thought it would be more, um, more body focused actually. I didn't expect there to be so much acidity, but it's like, it's like everything is super well balanced. Like well balanced, very well balanced. Mm -hmm. Very well balanced. Definitely not as fun. Yeah, it, it's, it's safe. It's very safe is what I'll say. It's not like, really upfront acidity you get out of the shurikens and it doesn't have that like pointiness that ssp has but everything is very well defined very well structured in some sort of way i like the transition between everything but the linger i don't think the shurikens and any of the ssps linger this long i, don't, I haven't caught up on chat Yeah, so I mean, like, someone's asking what pushing it means. It's we just, we just mean pushing extraction. Pushing extraction is what we mean. These, these are the 102 Misens. 102 the... Misens. Blind. Do you typically use your SLNs for pour over? Yes, I do. Um, they produce the ugliest pour over beds you will ever see in your life, but they taste fantastic. Um, I think SLM are just a very unique presentation. Uh, when it comes to burrs, um, and it's also hard to mess up. But it, the challenge with the challenge with SLM and 
probably this burr is that because I would say they're lower on the transparency side, uh, they can end up making a lot of your coffees taste quite similar, um, at least in the aftertaste. And that's a pro plus or minus. But I think on filter, this is super enjoyable. Like this is a very enjoyable verset. I think the SLM are a more interesting verset. Uh, I also think the SLM are probably more forgiving, at least on pour over. Like we just, we see, we, we did two, three brews. Um, my opinion hasn't really changed of, oh, this is how this present, but now we're getting a really good idea of the filter performance on this coffee. Um, yeah, well, let, let's, we're, we're gonna pull a shot of espresso and we'll find out. Um, so we're gonna try this out, but wanna, let's, let's just we'll do the same coffee on espresso. Okay, where's the, do you want to use spirit? Yeah, let's use the spirit. Use... I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not like- I'm put the dosing funnel on Yeah. This. Oh yeah, so this is the dosing funnel. Not magnetic, but it should fit in like that. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not like insanely blown away by these, but it's also late at night. I'm just like, this is within what I would have expected them to taste like, as in this is good. I want to say like nine out of tens across the board. I mean, like I would also say shurikens are like nine out of tens across the board, but like where the acidity is, is different. Um, I did not expect it to have that China burst performance. Like a lot of the China burrs uh, have this delay before, like a buildup of acidity. And this is just happening a lot faster. Um, but it, in that kind of split second before the acidity builds up, uh, it's really, really sweet. So that's kind of that China burr experience. Um, but I think this is like the best version of that style of burr that I've tasted so far. Uh, now let's pull a shot of espresso. Uh, we're gonna do, I guess, extract a mundo and we should what pull like one to three. Okay. One to three. I mean, that'll give us a good idea of how this tastes on espresso. Uh, here's the portafilter, folks. That is dangerously close. It's perfect. It's per it's literally perfect. It's like what half a millimeter, one millimeter. Look how small. Look at yeah, that gap. It's like one or two. Grinding on six again. Just gonna throw the beans in on these beautiful, beautiful dosing trays. Done by Kimoy Coffee, who is here with me yeah, today. I'm not selling these. So. Not sell, not for sale. But uh, it's got got our got our group logo in here, so that's pretty dope. Anyway, uh, let's grind and just make sure the decent set to like what fifty four grams. No, I'll do that. Okay, I'm gonna grind now. I'm so used to just turning it on and off. I should I should really do the auto purge like this. But that's fast. That's at one and a half. Um, the grind size between espresso and filter don't really seem to be or like the grind time doesn't seem to be changing. And this feels really good. But this is like dangerously close. It's it's so perfect. Wow, look at that. Like it just slides right in. Slides right out. Um all right, you wanna you wanna prep? I'll prep. It's gonna drop like ten dollars of coffee right there. Is this ten dollars of coffee? I don't know. It's not ten, it's like seven. It's affordable coffee. We don't, sell, we don't sell shots like this on our cart. I don't think we're gonna pull soup here. We're just gonna pull um, one, to three. one to three extract a dose or something like that. Uh, do we have a thing to, do you wanna pour into, pull a shot into? Have a crap. Okay, cool. Right. But um, I will keep telling you guys about what I think it tastes like. I like how they, their guys don't get to see it. Yeah, unfortunately you guys don't get to see the espresso pulling because I'm standing here and the espresso machine is all the way over there. If you've seen some, did I have I post? Oh, I posted one video from like, I got this new little setup over there. It's it's really cool looking. It's jank. It's, it is a little jank at times. I have to move the couches around. Anyway. Um, I'm just pressing go. Mm -hmm. Just stop it at 54. I, I press stop. Okay. Or you changed the weight already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. I'm going to also brew this coffee on the SLM. Okay. 
Except for I don't have any more filters. Okay. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. We, we, we can pull a shot on SLM. Same coffee on SLM. All right, let's do that. Yeah, there's so much chroma. I have to go to like touch. You do? How fast was that? Maybe, maybe you get some info for chat. Oh wait, I can pull up the shot on visualizer.coffee because okay, the vsin is now up. Here, I'm gonna drop this guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this shot in the in the in the chat. All right, so this is the shot we just pulled. Um, What's the peak? I don't know. I just put it in the chat. Let's uh, find out. Uh, it. Wait, is this the right chat? It, it, wait, is this the right shot? I don't know. Did it upload? <laughs> it did. Okay, so we got. A, we could have ground way finer. It's got a little bit of pulsation because the it peaked at three bars. Okay. Could have grind. We soup. grind this coffee way finer. We make soup. We're making soup. Okay, I grind finer then. All right, I'm gonna go to like one, two and a half. To be fair, this is a pretty processed coffee, and also we're using uh, waffle spirits. So oh yeah, I forgot about yeah. That. I mean, we're using like I forgot about waffle spirits. Yeah, we're using a three thousand hole basket. Um, we might as well try to pull the same shot on the max. I think the grind size is probably similar. So we'll go from there. I like this a lot better than before. Ooh, you like this better? Oh, without the? No, no, like it has the Delrin on it, which is really nice. Mm. All right, we'll pull the same shot on, or, or something similar on the flat max. I guess you were on the coarser side, right? So let me make sure the, I guess the RPM on this is lower, so should be okay. Uh, let me see how much finer I can grind. Oh, it's a... Why is it astringent? Oh yeah. No good? Yeah, it's astringent. Maybe uh, we need to grind this fine. Okay, well we can pull it at a finer grind and then that, and then we try to match up the shots and then we'll go get dinner and we'll call it a day. We'll end yeah, the stream. Yeah, yeah. There's that bird unseasoning taste to it. Yeah. Woo! Uh, I think the flow is also way too hot. Yeah, yeah. The flow is, um, yeah. That's a, I think that's a good example of like, you're just good, a little too coarse. Chat's like, we don't know what we're doing, right? No. No, no, we're okay. Where, where is the San Remo U? San Remo U is with the people that we're grinding this coffee from. So that was one five. So what should I do? What one two? Sure. One? I don't know. <laughs> I, I haven't I haven't done espresso in so long. I don't know. Let's do, do, okay, let's do one one. I just I want it to be around like three mils per second. Okay. Because I think that will give it. Okay, well, anyway, this is one. Oh, the funnel. Oh. No, I forgot about the funnel, but that worked <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, push it, push it down. Yeah, use the. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta like. Boop, boop. Move it over there. All right. Yeah, because you left the funnel over there. That's true. That's my fault. This is your fault. Better. All right, um, and then we will use the rest of this coffee and also pull on the flat max. And I think our grind size is going to be similar, but we're, you know we're not we're not trying to do the closest comparison. It's just like we're curious. The filter on this was is really really nice. Uh, it's it's nice. It's just like really comforting.
Oh, we need water in the machine? No, 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 I just wanted some. Okay. For some reason, I haven't had as good luck of, good of luck with my Max 2 SLM for filter. I think it's because the Max 2 has the pancake, so that kind of adds more fines from my understanding. It's supposed to not give as many fines. John Kim asks, how do you sleep? Uh, we're, we're, we're sipping and spitting. We and and we'll eat a really heavy dinner, maybe. Yeah, we are doing um, a filter roast here. It's just, we were a little too coarse. We probably could have fixed it by going a larger ratio. All right, Harry's pulling a shot over there. It sounds like it's pulling longer. Uh, I'm also pulling 18 grams. My visualizer profile is just set to 18 because Shay set that to 20 and I never fixed it. <laughs> Alright. It's like it's marginally... Can't be my puck prep. It's marginally finer if flow looks to be slightly higher. Oh, please add water. Oh, okay. I know how to do this. You know how to add water in a decent? Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Worst machine I had water in. Yeah, you gotta like kind of disassemble the decent. Uh, but there we go, we got some more crema. This shot looks like a soup shot, but it's ground at a one point, or it's ground, yeah, 1.1 .1 versus a 1.5. So the flow rate seems, let me see if I can compare this. The flow seems to be a little bit higher. I'm gonna drop it in the chat for you guys to take a look at. I expected it to be way slower, though. It, it also could be the coffee, right? Like, this could be one of those coffees that's, like, a little iffy. Uh, our shot before was hella astringent, so hopefully this is better. This is better. Really? It's better. It's still, I I mean, what's an interesting is a lot of the processing's coming out now. That's what you want. Mm-hmm. So, this has that same effect, but it's much faster where um, there's that kind of lag and then there's a ton of buildup of acidity. And this is still interesting where even in an espresso, this acidity, really really is lingering and and kind of what's been i've been observing this and we'll we'll pull an slm shot just to kind of verify it against um for and you know we'll see is the a lot of that acidity is like at the very back of my palate like way back here and that's where all that stuff is concentrated at whereas i feel like slms are more in like the center or like middle of your tongue um so that's been interesting um I would say that I, I, I can't really pick out too many of the exact nuances in this espresso. And I think that is, like it doesn't have that, it, it still doesn't have that like crazy sharp clinical effect that you might find out of 98 HU, 98 Brew. Um, try, yeah, uh, try, try a little bit of this. Uh, this, is, this is better. This is not like punch you in the face with astringency. Yeah, that was that was an that was an experience. Yeah, that was an experience. Um, but that's the old shot you're drinking. Oh, yeah, that's old. This is new. Oh, like this is new. Mm. Yeah, this is new. So you just dump that. This is better. Very much in the, like, mm. much better. Very much like in the, it's like, it, it, yeah, does this, the city go like up here? It's yeah, like back a, here. Yeah, there's more more perception of acidity for it too. Yeah. It's really interesting. It, it's really interesting. Um, uh, 
sound is way very similar. Okay, uh, can I get the porta filter and let me get to this? Let's now pull a flat max shot. Your favorite. The best. Was this the bad one? No, we dumped the bad one. No, this is. Yeah, you filter. dumped the bad one. That was the filter. That one was really good. Oh. Oh, my RDT bottle. So I have the RDT with uh, the flat max. Ugh. Tragedy. It's gonna take a year to freaking grind. Yeah, it's gonna take a while to grind. I have SLM uh, with the s nine pre breakers. I don't know. Just joined, so I might have missed it. Hello, Aaron. I am coming by to AZ soon, I hope. The uh, burr in here is, I think the standard is 102 Mizen. Uh, how do you find the 83 DLC on the 83V to this 102 Mizen? This is better in every way imaginable. Uh, so the challenge with the 83, well, okay, so there are two 83, uh, I'll talk about espresso and I'll talk about brew. Uh, espresso, this is significantly better. Uh, this is not adding so much color to the shot. Like it's not coloring the shot like 80, like the, the espresso burrs were doing on the 83V, where uh, a lot of that was like chocolate, it was like veiled, a lot of the acidity, a lot of stuff was like veiled in, in, in what the burr, like the burr was trying to do something to that. And to me it was like very, it was like that chocolate tea finish effect. Um, much more acidity than, like it had a lot more acidity than we thought it would have. The yeah. 83 espresso, really big body, really normal, really safe. This here, you get the acidity, um, but it's not veiled in any sort of way. Like we're tasting the coffee. The um, 83 brew, I've been brewing a bit with 83 brew. 83 brew are kind of similar in this too, uh, but I would say 83 brew have like this bigger peak and they kind of go like this way. This is like integrated, um, much more integrated, but ha seemingly higher uh, per perception of notes. Like I can tell more nuances and also, oh, please do this. Thank you. Um, here, I just can pull in, pull in that. Uh, also it feels like 83 Brew. Yeah, 83 Brew don't have like as much definition of specific notes. Um, and it, I think it's really good at like emphasizing one note and then presenting it throughout. This is doing, a, a 102 Misens are doing that too, but they're really, really adding some like emphasis on body. Like there's so much more, uh, it feels like there's so much more perceivable texture. And it also feels like that, um, that acidity is also shifted towards kind of all like the back here, um, which has been interesting. I think this is still really good. Like these burrs are what? Under a hundred bucks. Not bad. Have you tried El Preso Zio? Yes, I have. I actually brewed uh, Zio from Hydrangea Coffee Roasters on the 83V. It was really good. Uh, a lot, super clean. You grind and the room smells amazing. Uh, it has a lot more complexities than you would expect. Um, yeah, Zio, Zio was, was great. Is the same yeah, I am going to pair soon. More pulsy. A little more pulsy, so probably similar to the first shot. So this but is the, the same shot this is the SLM shot that we just pulled. 20.1 seconds versus 19.8 seconds. Or On the second shot, right? Yeah, yeah, 19. So I'm going to link the SLM shot in the chat if you guys are curious. And then we're gonna wrap up. We need to get dinner with people. Yeah. Where, where, where are we getting dinner? Where, I'm the... not gonna say right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I gotta look at the. I gotta look at the the. Um... 
Here, this is the coffee we're pulling. This coffee's great. I'm so glad I tasted this on espresso. Here we go, espresso. So this is SLM. And then we also have 102 Mizen. What do we mix them? We can mix them and we can get the ultimate tasting espresso. Mm. Mm. There's that upfront acidity. SLM pushes that acidity really, really up front. Um, and, and, in, and also on your tongue too. Much more in, like concentrated in the middle, middle and also the edges here. 102s were like kind of shifted back more, more. I would say 102s had more like retro nasal effect going on. Oh yeah. Um, wow. I mean, this is a great coffee. So we're getting really, really amazing presentations. Just like slight differences. I like the finish better on Shurikens. There, this is what makes a lot of the. So it's yeah, like it's it's got this like silky sweet finish on the Shurikens. Um, I do think the Misens are really, really sweet, but tasting the, these two side by side, Shurikens have a much more pronounced, like concentrated intensity of acidity. Um, How, how's the clarity in comparison? Let me let me let me taste these again real quick. It's this. All right, let me give you uh, 102 Mizen first. Yeah. 102 Mizen real quick. It's very much more balanced. Like a balanced presentation throughout. Yeah, super balanced. The, the body is still what's surprising me is that you're having that acidity up here and the body is also yeah. up here. And then they're real like the transition between the two is really like, it, it's kind of like there all together, like here and there's like duh, 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 like this. And then it goes into um, a nicer, it, it, it does have like not the roundest finish, at least comparing to SLM. There's still that delay in terms of when the acidity presents to you. But it's kind of nice if you want, because it has a more acidic um, finish. Yeah, it has a more acidic finish, as in you are tasting more of the coffee as it's finishing. The burr is not imparting any sort of color. But let's look at SLM now. <laughs> wow. Very, um, very strong, very, really super intense acidity. I don't know, man, maybe I'm just, co I'm, I'm on an SLM cope, but I think, I mean, acidity really in your face up front. Yeah. Um, there's no delay in terms of acidity. There's like a point, like a super split second of delay with Misens before you get hit with the acidity. I will say like the intensity of this, of the SLMs with the spirit, it comes off a little more harsh. Yeah, there's a, I mean, you know, we could grind this finer, but it well, is. Well, for me, it's just like that, like acidic, I mean, acidic harshness yeah. that kind of is bitter to me. Mm. You're tasting espresso. That's what you're tasting. That's my boomer <laughs> it's taste. Espresso. Uh, espresso with an X. Um, so, yeah, SLM much more up in front. Um, the linger is definitely not as long. So, if I were to use my hands, I'm like, the body and the acidity are like kind of, there's like stages on the, on the misens. And then you're, and then it just kind of goes away. This here, the SLM is like, you get that acidity. There's this nice silky body that's with it. And then it really, really rounds out into like this lovely sweetness and silky mouthfeel. Um, so, you know what I've concluded from this is that I think these pair really well together. Oh no. <laughs> I've justified my purchase here. <laughs> they're very, they're like, because the way I, the way I think nowadays is like, if I'm tasting coffee off of, the, off of this, am I losing out in any sort of way, right? Like 83V brew, I'm like, I'm losing out on the aftertaste, in my opinion. 
like yes i'm getting good clarity i'm getting good acidity on the on the bruise but i'm losing out on that really like unique mouth feel that unique finish that the slms are giving me um i don't feel that way about this in comparison to this but also i think this is like i think i mean i think this is better at espresso than this or the, i mean like for me it's more interesting like, the espresso's more interesting. Well, that's what the SLMs are really good at. Yeah. Like, I don't think they're great. I mean, they're good for filter, but they're not special. Yeah, they're not, like, specialists in filter, but they have that really unique finish. Um, that's, like, pretty minimal in filter. Yeah, but, I mean, in espresso, this is where, where yeah. we're really seeing the difference. Yeah. Where I, I think, um, for me, I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm much, much preferring the Cafe Tech shot, but I'm, like this is much more interesting to me. Like, oh, that's why that's $3,000. Like, that's why that's expensive. Or that's why yeah. it's in, you know, like, you you want to be wowed, I feel like, if you're spending this much money on grinders, right? And obviously we have two very expensive grinders. This isn't, like, giving me that wow factor in terms of espresso. Um, this is giving me really, like, really good tasting coffee across the board. Um, but I'm not, like, wowed, you know? Um, where it could I, change too, like as you're, you haven't seasoned yeah, it. Yeah, I haven't anymore. fully seasoned it, but I'm saying like in terms of giving me good coffee in every category, this is giving me good, like, you know, this is like also 9 out of 10 on categories. It's an all-rounder. Yeah, this is like the, probably the most, like the best all-rounder that you can buy. Um, but just like, you know, in specific things like espresso, like, yeah, you know, shurikens still kind of show their dominance and I don't really... That opinion, I don't think I'm going to change yet. Um, yeah, maybe one, you know we'll get 102. I have to look at where are we get. I gotta look at the chat. Are we getting dinner somewhere? No, we should just wrap up now. Okay, all right. I am going to wrap up. Oh, he wants to go there. Okay, fine. We can go there. Um, uh, okay, what happens here? Alan, thank you for coming by. We we actually are wrapping up uh, because it's eight. 40 and we need to go get dinner. Alan says, he says hi to you. Hello. And he says also why his Moonwake order hasn't shipped yet. Oh, it's because they roast like on a bi-weekly schedule. So it's not like they're, they're roasting right as you order. They have a roast schedule. Uh, yeah, so they're, they're, they'll roast. I mean, it's on the website. They'll tell you when they roast and ship. Curious if the dosing cup will be sale. No. No. Because I didn't make that design. Yeah, this is a this is a custom Bay Area. Well, it's coffee. It's logo. someone someone had a dosing tray on printables, and then I just customized it for BAC. So I'm not allowed to sell those. Okay, uh, but yeah, you know that's uh, we're gonna wrap up now. But that's 102, or uh, you know that's the option of Legum. I'm so used to saying Legum Mini. Legum zero one. Legum zero one. Legum P sixty four. Le like a not P01, like I'm 01. Okay, yeah, so that's the option of like I'm 01. Um, you know, we took it out, opened it, did a little bit of seasoning. Uh, filter brew is really nice. Nine out of tens across the board. Really just super tasty. Uh, comforting cup. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know, I'm being really caffeinated, so you can scroll back and you can <laughs> you can look at it. I was going to like reiterate everything that was good. But you can, you can go, look, go back and you can see what we said about it. Um, espresso, pretty... Just, I mean, I think most people would like this espresso over the Cafetech espresso. It's just like normal. It's very normal. But I still think Shuriken's much more interesting. Uh, but I'm going to pair this with my Shuriken's here, and I'm going to be happy. So, yeah. Um, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, the VOD should be available. I might edit the VOD as well, but um, I have no idea what else I'm going to do with this. Uh, I just wanted to open it up, taste some coffee. And, and and see where that goes but uh yeah we can we're gonna get back to we'll rank some more stuff at a later date so i'm actually glad that people shut the ranking stream, <laughs> dude that ranking stream we got we got the we got some spicy opinions man it wasn't even that but spicy <laughs> spicy opinions now we can put this on the on the now we tasted this we can put this on the on the rankings um but we have to adjust all the numbers so the numbers on the spreadsheet we need to like totally fix and then also We'll then make it cleaner, so then you guys can view it on the internet. Uh, but yeah, okay. Option O, Legum 01, pretty good. And yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Need another coffee.